All right, welcome back. So today, I'm on the DBXLE 2.0. So just testing everything, I had to find my QS8 connector batteries for these. Got the other one out as well. And I'm just going through them. This one is the one with the XLX2. Batteries are really low. So, I got to get these batteries charged up. I do have to find... What I don't like about these uh, balance ports is there's a separate plug for that, so I gotta find that to charge them up. But I gotta get these batteries charged up, and uh, we'll go from there. So this does have a regulator on it, a voltage regulator, which I believe is in this box. You get the fan to here to the extension to in here which is pretty cool and this is on my dx5c not the rugged i had to rebind it because it lost all memory for some reason so this does have the 6000 avc spectrum receiver in it So I'll have to test this one as well. So I'll leave it in the sun. We'll flatten it back out. But this has got the Max 5 combo in it. As you see, a complete Max 5 combo. The 56113 800 kV motor. And I did a comparison with the Savox Servo and a servo horn but i did a comparison on this one with hobby wing versus castle with these two and that's the last time i ran them so we're gonna get them cleaned up <clears throat> this was the bind and drive version of the dbxle 1.0 and uh you had to supply your own elect basically your receiver and uh radio i upgraded the steering servo even though it had one it was just slow and i wanted to compare the single savox servo against the dual spectrum servo system which i did and then this one got the duratrack lockups on it which are awesome tires they uh, perform very well and then the 2.0 DGI sender locks with the pro line so hobby wing versus castle which i think is really cool um, it was something i was doing with the dbxl platform and that's why i kept these two um, the 2.0 definitely a fan favorite of mine just because of the way the center drive shaft is pretty much straight they did it on this one as well, straight, but the gas-powered K&N one was an offset version of the original uh, DBXL platform. So you couldn't, when you converted the original uh, two-stroke gas ones over to electric, the drive shafts couldn't handle it. So I thought it was pretty cool to see. Um, this one came with only the single steering servo setup for the front where this one left you a blank spot to add an additional steering servo which that's what was cool on the 2.0 still the same all metal center diff this one has very little runtime on it um, the 2.0 i did a lot of running a lot of testing with this um, i even let another youtuber come down and run this rc 
because I was trying to show him what the DBXLE platform is all about and he had a blast with it and you know beat the heck out of it and it just kept ripping now it did suffer a lot of damages which i repaired later on but it, it held at a cost it held at a cost that i think cost me right around a thousand dollars to get everything fixed um especially changing the new body the original body got destroyed in that bash session we had a blast i gotta tell you and i'm sure he had a blast but um it, it did suffer a lot of damages after that so turnbuckles had to be changed shock towers, shocks had to be fixed it, it was a lot after that bash session but it did amazing the original one i just did basically comparison with this one the bind and drive version which is discontinued i bought it as a discontinued model brand new and uh i planned on using it for parts but then after running the 2.0 and running this and setting this one up i actually geared um one of them i think i geared this one I geared both of them so I ended up re-gearing both of these things to a different uh, spur gear low C gearing and uh, it did way better so but these two are gonna go up for sale so I just want to make sure everything is working on these things. So uh, in the last video, people trying to get a jump on uh, on these RCs, asking me, what are you going to sell it for? Emailing me, messaging me. Um, like I said before, uh, wait for the video. It's the only way to make it fair for everybody. Sending me a message now to buy it, it you're, you're not going to be able to buy it early. Um, when the price goes up and that kind of stuff on what I'm going to want for each one, um, I think you'll be shocked, especially considering, you know, the 2.0 has got over $3,000 in it. And this one, I think I'm at about two grand um, into the V1. Now, the prices have gone up on these things a lot. Uh, I think about $200, $300. They went up in value this one you can't even buy anymore especially in the condition that this rc is in so i think that's pretty cool that uh that they're obsolete now um so at least this scheme maxis so this has the whole horizon and the dynamite electronics that were in it um graphics the fox edition was very popular because of the fox shocks and then it's got the fox shock caps on it where these are the billet aluminum caps so little changes here and there sway bars on both which i think is real cool nice beefy fifth scale turnbuckles which i think is cool this is like the starter of a true fifth scale is the dbxl e and the original dbxl uh two stroke version so i have these two left i think i sold i had four of these at one point i think i sold two of them um both gas powered and these are my two electric powered versions they are they are just beast pretty cool i'm going to continue working on these things getting them ripping um i gotta get them loaded up i gotta get the wheels off of them get the tires cleaned up uh, i've been soaking them in simple green because of all the mud that's inside the tires doing pretty good you can see all the mud that packs into these dura tracks this one i was running it at a park that they were doing construction at and that clay mud was just sticking to all the tires so pretty cool two versions of the dbxl ease version one version two 
and I think it's just a really cool platform. This was only a bind and drive, and then this one came as a ready to run, which I think is pretty cool, but the electronics, like anything that's stock, they were just underpowered. So XLX2, top of the line castle, ESC versus the Max 5. Um, now people are doing the Max 4s, um, which is a 12S version, which you can upgrade, and both these motors handle the 12S, which I think is pretty cool, just an ESC swap. But um, I really think at 8S is really all you need for these rigs. If you want to go insane, you can go 12S. And it's got the room to do it. Um, but they definitely are rippers the way that they are on 8S. Uh, big gauge wire, big battery packs. Like I said, the QS8 connectors for this. So it uh, stops the anti-spark and really gets that power pushing. The batteries I have, the gauge wire is a little too small in the battery packs. All my big packs pretty much got destroyed uh, running them in these RCs and speed running them because I was using my retired speed run batteries for bash batteries. And uh, that's why these have the QS8 connectors on it. And those speed run batteries, when I started bashing them, really didn't handle the impacts of, uh, of this RC. Even with all the battery straps, um, it's just one of those things. The batteries can only take so much in this platform. But there we go. I'm going to continue testing. I'm going to try to find the stuff to charge up those batteries. And I'm going to continue getting stuff ready to get rid of. But these two will be going up for sale. At the end of this video, I'll let you know how much. All right. Got some packs charged up. Ended up having to change the battery ends because the batteries I have, it, uh, they're all bad. But here we go, the DBXLEs 1 and 2, Max 5, Castle Creations. Let's, uh, let's run it a little bit. So much power. Still a little hot today. Wait it till the evening to run it. guy walking over there just about to jump out but that's why I look way too big it jumps way too far Compared to like the Outcast, locked up the brakes, but it jumped to where I couldn't even hit the brakes. <laughs> That's barely a quarter trigger jumping. These pro lines, uh, belted pro lines, they just hold up so well. $200 tires.
the dual steering definitely helps. Tightened up the springs. These things are notorious for the rear springs. Uh, needing a stiff, stiffer uh, spring. I wasn't even trying to jump. I could smell burning rubber doing that. True fifth scale with plenty of power. I couldn't imagine going to 12S on something like this. I know people have. I'm barely tapping the trigger and letting it coast. Definitely gonna have to turn up the brakes. Want to make sure it's not killing these batteries. 500s but it's a it's a hot day put a antenna tube on it because I saw the other one had broke and the antenna wire was hanging out which I don't like but definitely a beast game changer regulator as you see right here on the back that drives these fans you can add a bunch of fans if need be. Motor's a little on the warm side because we are geared pretty high up and it is a hot day. I wanted to see if this was, this was the 1100 kV. Yeah. 1100 kV censored motor. Going with the XLX2. Nice thing is I can go ahead and kill the ESC and the game changer fan will keep the Arma heat sink that I installed on here. You can just feel the air blowing on the back of this. Just keeping everything nice and cool. But there she is, she works. Definitely a fun build. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay before I go ahead and ship something like this out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll put an email in the description again and on the screen. This one will have the receiver but will not come with a radio because DX5C or your DX5C rugged um, you can bind to it so it's got the I think the 6200 receiver in there um, everything's already all wired just bind and go must be the 6100 because it does take that receiver does take the little bind clips which I keep always one in my radio but so the Fox edition basically I'm gonna end up letting this thing go for 950 which is super cheap considering that's the cost of the electronics that are in it and then the version 1 same thing with the max 5 and the max combo in it um, and the Savox servo in that rather than two of uh the spectrum servos so your choice 950 and we'll go from there 
but hopefully you guys will uh, get in on it there's this one's got uh, just about three grand into the build this one I got about uh, 20 I want to say 25 2600 into and there we go so like comment subscribe and that one basically has no runtime on it um, and all the plastic everything oh is still like new this one's been run a little harder but still everything's in really good shape for fifth scales you just can't beat it like comment subscribe we'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching